Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna tackle one of the biggest frustrations about the Amazon Fire Stick, and that is low storage. A lot of my viewers have messaged me recently that they're getting a message on their device saying critically low storage, and they can't get rid of the message. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to get rid of that message first. I'm also gonna share with you the reasons why your Fire devices, whether it's the TV, the Cube, or one of these sticks in front of me, is getting so full it's not your fault, it's Amazon's fault. So I'm gonna talk about why that's happening and how to fix it. It's only gonna be a few minutes. Whether you're a beginner user or an advanced user, I think you're gonna learn something today. So let's get right to it. So this critically low storage message has been popping up on Amazon Fire devices more than ever before. So really quickly before I get on the TV, I'm gonna share with you why that's happening. Maybe it hasn't happened to you yet. Maybe your device is just a lot slower than it used to be when you first got it. This video is gonna help you as well. So what is happening is Amazon has come out with a new model Fire device every year. So a couple years ago they came out with this one, then they came out with a new Cube, then they came out with another device, and now they came out with the new 4K Max. So what is different about all of these models? Well, it's the processor, so it can process a lot of the new apps, but what it doesn't have is more storage. So there's the conundrum, there's the issue. There's the problem with these devices is that you buy the new one, but you don't get more storage and they're pushing all these new apps. So you can't even add all the new apps because you don't have the space for it. It really is frustrating. Now they did make it so that on the new devices you can add, add additional storage, and I have a video on how to do that. But in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to get rid of the critically low issue on your Fire device without buying anything. It's gonna be really quick, really easy video, but I just wanted to share with you why that's happening. They have not increased the storage, but the apps have gotten, there's more and more apps than ever before, and these studios are producing apps that are very large sizes, and some of them you can even DVR. Now, if you have one of those programs where you DVR directly, to your Fire Stick, you're gonna run out of space within a day. It's just gonna happen. So I'm gonna share with you really quick how to fix the critically low storage issue on your Fire device. Let's get on the TV, let's check it out. All right, as I have you close in on the screen here, I just wanted to talk really quickly about some of the things I'm gonna cover in today's video and have you follow along right here on the screen. So if you wanna follow along and do these steps with me, more than welcome to do so. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what's taken up all the space. All these new apps that have all this this really cool stuff that you're gonna want on your Fire device, what is it that's actually taking up the space on your Fire Stick? So there's an application I'm gonna share with you that is completely free. It is in the Amazon App Store, so I'm gonna talk about that. I'm also gonna talk about something called Cache. Some, in other countries, some people will call it Cache. Whether you call it Cache or Cache in your country, it's the exact same thing. It does the same purpose. What is Cache? Really quickly, I just wanna share with you, if you don't know what Cache is, Cache was created to help with computing. It was critically important on computers for many, many years because it gives, it. it's like a little bit of memory that remembers the things that you've done in the past, okay? So if you access certain sites and you've done certain functions within those sites, it would actually speed up the computing process when you go back to that site again. On a streaming device, it's not necessary. If anything, it hinders you, it takes up space. So now that you know what cache is, let's talk about how to get rid of the cache. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you how to clear that critically low storage message. So it's gonna be a really quick video. So follow along with me on the screen. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, let's clear cache because it's the easiest thing to do. And I, I know a lot of my subscribers know all about it. And I will timestamp each of these steps down in the description section of the video. So if you already know about cache and you wanna to get to the new app that the Amazon Fire Stick has, or you wanna know how to just get rid of that message because you've already deleted stuff, I will timestamp it down in the description section. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do you're gonna to wanna to go to settings. Now there's a shortcut way to do it, which I've shared in some of my videos. I'm gonna share the old fashioned way, and that's just to go to the gear on the right hand side. And I'm doing that because I want you to see all of the different settings that your Amazon Fire TV has. Get, your, get familiar with this part of your Fire Stick. It's critically important to the success of your Fire Stick. So today we're gonna to talk about applications. So we're gonna to go to the settings, applications, click on that and you're gonna go down here to manage installed applications. But before I click that, I want you to take note of this number, write it down, memorize it, whatever you wanna do, and that's the number on the right-hand side here where it says internal space. space. Internal space, I have 814 megabytes, only 814 out of 5.25, I'm sorry, 5.28 gigabytes available. 
So less than a gig. Performance on this device will not be as good as it should be unless you have more than one gig available. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot for that. We might be able to do even better. Hopefully I do. So I want you to go ahead and write that number down and memorize that number because we're gonna improve on this in today's video. So you're gonna click on the Manage Installed Applications. Let's go ahead and do that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip through these Amazon ones. You're gonna start off with the ones that you've added. So Analyti is one right here. Now Analyti is taking up 33.11 megabytes. So it's remembering 33.11 megabytes of speed tests that I've done on this device for you guys on my video. So we're gonna clear that because we don't need to remember all those. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it and you're gonna click on clear cache. Don't click clear data on anything because that's gonna that's your password saved, things like that. So don't worry about data, focus on cache. So we're gonna go ahead and click clear cache. Now that's zero. Now in some cases when you clear cache and you go back to it, it might have a KB amount and that's just required on certain apps to launch it. Again, we're only worried about MB. MB only on these, okay? Let's go to Aptoid, that's 11 MB, so let's go ahead and clear that. And I'm gonna go through each of these really, really fast, and we're gonna see how much I end up with. All right, now I went ahead and cleared a whole bunch of them on there. I went through most of them, and as you can see, I'm already over a gig. So already I have 1.29 gigabytes available on this device, and I didn't delete any apps. I kept all of those apps, and you saw how many apps I had on there from different demonstrations. I've got tons of apps on here. If you have less apps than that, and you don't have storage space, this cache trick is really gonna help you out quite a bit. So clearing cache alone makes no difference to the performance of your Fire Stick. All it does is clear those unnecessary memory files. So I went ahead and deleted those. And as you can see, I'm already at 1.29 gigabytes available. So every time you've installed a new app on your Amazon Fire Stick, there is an installer file that will get stored on your device. Once you have the app, you don't need the installer file anymore. So I'm gonna share with you really quick how to find those installer files to see what's taking up space. And also on that same app that I'm gonna share with you now, where you can see if you maybe have downloaded a movie unintentionally or intentionally that is taking up a lot of space and how to get rid of it. So let's do that now. So let's go to your homepage. And on your homepage, you're going to go to find down to search. Now this program is 100% free. It's in the Amazon App Store. Most of my subscribers already have it. They just don't know how to use the app. It's called ES File Explorer. So just type in ES space File Explorer. Now, it'll pop up once you start to type it right here. Go ahead and click on it. It looks just like that. It looks like a file folder and it says ES on it. So we're gonna go ahead and install that on this device here and we'll take a look at it. So we'll start the download. Now they do have in-app purchasing and they do have the ability to get a premium version of this app. You don't need it for this function. I don't encourage you to get it unless you wanna use some of the other features of this, which I'm not even gonna talk about in today's video because it's all about how to fix it free, how to fix your device. Now this is also gonna show you the performance of your device based on how much storage you have. So I went ahead and downloaded it. Now let's open it up. All right, and it's going to say storage permission. They wanna make sure that it's okay with you that they access your storage and settings. So we're gonna go ahead and agree with that, of course. Uh, access, you have to allow access so they can analyze your system. Now here, right here, this is where a lot of people are confused. They think they have to buy it or click free trial. Do not click free trial. Do not do that because that is signing up for it. It's going to ask you for credit card. Go to the right up here to the X, the upper right-hand corner. Just by moving to the right on your remote and click that X, it will X out of that because you don't need it. 
So after doing what I had done before, I'm already in the blue. Yours might be red. It says 76% used storage internally. Okay. You don't, again, don't buy anything. Don't click on ES premium. Don't do any of that. This is completely free. So don't analyze, don't do anything. All you need to do is go down here and there's two sections. Well, there's a couple sections I want you to, I want you to see. So movies is where any of your DVRs are going to be. So if you had TV made or one of those programs, it's going to be in the movie section. Click on that. I don't have any. You might. This is a good way to delete it. So I'm going to share with you also how to delete things really quick. So again, let's get over here and let's look at the apps section. App sections where you're going to get all those installer files. All right, here's all of your apps. Now, I don't want you to go through and delete all of these apps in here. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What you're gonna look for specifically is go up here to user apps at the top here, the little check mark. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and you're going to look at APKs. So just select all APKs down here and you're gonna see the installer files. Now, this is what you're gonna wanna delete. Now, how do you delete these files? It's actually really simple. Go ahead and highlight over any of them. It doesn't matter which one. I'll go ahead and do this one here. And you're going to hold down the center button on your remote. And that's just the right around the circle, right? The little circle, the middle of it. Just hold it down for a couple seconds. And you'll notice that it checkmarked that. And the others have a little white circle. So you're going to go ahead and select each one of these. We're going to clear all these out. We don't need them. You might have dozens, if not hundreds. I only have five on this one because I usually keep it pretty clean. I have to to keep all those apps on my device. But if you don't, you're going to want to click each one of these. So I went ahead and clicked each one of those. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the delete. Now, uh, some people have struggled getting down there. It doesn't seem to go down there. But if you go to the left hand side, go all the way to the very bottom, then move to the right, you can get to the delete. And that's how you do it. Uh, go ahead and delete it. Just click delete. It'll say, are you sure? You're going to go ahead and unselect move to recycle bin. Otherwise, it's not deleting. It's just moving it. So unselect that. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to say, OK, gone, deleted successfully. So go back home. As you can see, I just freed up a little bit of space. Not a lot. I didn't have a lot of installers, but you might have more. So that is how you access all of that. So there's cleaners on here. There's analyzer on here. There's all kinds of things on this if you have the premium version. But if you have the free version, really the whole purpose is to see what's taken up all that space. And the first time that I actually did this, test, I went to the movie section and I forgot that I had actually downloaded or I DVR'd something on TV Mate when I was doing a demonstration for YouTube and it was taking up a lot of space. I couldn't figure out what the deal was and I looked into movies and that's where your DVRs are stored right here. The same thing if you download music, it will be over here in the music section right here. Again, I don't have any on here, thank goodness, because it does take up a ton of space. If you had one movie on here, you'd have no space on your device. So a lot of people don't realize that when you download things, it goes directly to your device unless you specify otherwise. So I've shared with you really quickly how to clear cache to free up space. I've shared with you how to find those DVR programs or movies you might have downloaded on accident or on purpose, or maybe a family member was using your device and did it on accident. And then right here in the app section where all of the installers are. Again, just right here, go down to all APKs. That's where it's going to be if you have any. Okay, now again, how do you clear that critically low storage message on your device? If you've done all that, you have over a gig available, you shouldn't have that message anymore, but you do. All you need to do, hold down your home button for just a few seconds. It looks like a home right on your remote. And then you're going to go ahead and go to settings, my Fire TV, restart, just like that. That's all you have to do, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a quick one. I just wanted to share with you how to delete the cache, how to find those APK installers that you may not have deleted when you first installed programs, and then how to get rid of the message. You just have to restart your device after you've cleared up space. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.